going to start. We're actually going to do this line in the five now, okay? Um, so five, so thinking straight away, both of you, what sort of canter you need for the first fence to have the five be really easy. You don't want to land and suddenly be chasing them because especially they've been shortening. I'm going to do that. <clears throat> I'm going to roll around here, one stride, look in five strides to the vertical. It'll probably be a little bit tougher for you. It'll probably be easy for him, but it, it walks normal, if not a bit short, okay? And then we're going to cruise around here. We're going to do two strides, three strides, and then you're going to go down the gears, get organized, and then do your verticals in the quiet three again at the end. So these distances are a bit more normal, and then back to the quiet at the end. So I like doing stuff like this, just especially when they're a little bit young and green, because then they learn to shorten up, open up, all the things. And you're gonna keep thinking about pulling your chin up in the air and on landing and keeping that leg just hugging him and staying tall. That's good, that's plenty. Good. It's all right, do a circle. There you go. And just keep your body really tall at the base of the fence. You give him room to pick the front end up. Easy. Easy. Good. Good, very good. Easy. Really tall. Good. Now find that organized canter. You might need a little more leg to help him. Easy. Very good. Good, well done. <clears throat> so I actually thought that was really good. Obviously, his, if his changes aren't quite there yet, you might be better off to just do a little shimmy until he finds them. Um, and obviously work on them over poles or whatever you need to do. But the only bit that I didn't love, and I'm just being nitpicky because it's a waste of time otherwise, is the last ox are there. You dropped your shoulders and dropped your eye line a little early and then he looked. Yes, but the first two, perfect. You were tall, your chin was there and your leg was on. And then there you kind of went, there it is. So you can do a circle first to find your good canter. <clears throat> Good. And even if you need to sit in the saddle so you don't get too tight in yourself, sometimes when we sit up all the time, your lower back gets tight, the arms get tight. There you go. Lower the hands a little, a little softer in the reins. Just travel. Let her travel. It's fine. Now settle. Easy. Find some balance. There you go. But keep your leg really tall in your body. Yeah, good. Totally fine. Now settle again, relax your lower back, a little squeezing on the reins, not blocking. Allowing, good. Very good. Now settle again, down your gears, easy, easy. Whoa, more whoa, and whoa and allow. That's good. Very good. Well done. That was a lot better. And I know what you mean. She got a little bit down and low there, but some of that, if she hits a fence because she just plows in, then that's got to be her deal. Like, I wouldn't worry about that too much because then she actually was very careful down this line, the two to the three. I thought that was really nice. Very good. That was a lot better. Lots better. I actually think you should just sink in and melt into her a little bit sometimes because 
a lot of people, they sit up out of the saddle and then your back gets tight and you're like, I'm in two point. And then your arms are like here. Like yeah, and then you're like, all the options you have are that. You don't have a bit of play and a bit of okay. looseness. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. I know, right? <laughs> but I think it'll come if you keep riding her this way. It's yeah. where she's lost her shape is where she hits the bridle and cramps on you. Yeah. And actually, I didn't mind at all for her. I don't mind that you did the six there. That's totally fine. Because I think if you chased her, she would have gotten very flat. And she does have a shorter stride. Right, so what we're going to do now, we're going to go, this is going to be a little bit harder. So we're going to go this vertical to start, bending five to the double. Roll around, oxer three strides to two. Might feel a little bit shorter coming this way, now that they're bigger. And then you're gonna carry on around. We're gonna go down this line again on the five. So that'll be a little open again. And then we're gonna shorten them up again and do the three strides at the end. Okay, so we're starting here. The bending line, yep. And then three to two. Mm -hmm. and then Outside line in five. And then five and again, thinking with him, like, it's not about speed. He's got plenty of that. You're just trying to keep his power in the right place. And then at the base of every fence, you're gonna be tall in your body and allowing a little bit in the hand without abandoning him. Leg just hugging him all the time, chin up. Really tall. It's fine, don't worry. Okay, walk a sec. Fine, he's just gone to sleep on you a little bit. Don't worry about that at all. Don't change anything. Just stay really tall with your leg on. And allowing. Good. And leg, tall. Good boy. Very good. And again, be super tall at this oxer because you know he might look, but not with speed. Easy. Now leg. Leg and leg. Good. What a good boy. Really tall. It's fine. And now close him up a little, a little bit more leg, sink in, easy, whoa, 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 whoa. Good, very good at the end there. Good, that's hard for him. So I don't actually mind if you, I actually think for her, I would stay out on the six in this first bend. So that means you just need to jump really, like jump and be straight for a stride and just take a minute to get yourself in there. And that doesn't mean you're blocking her for the six. It's more just, I think that's where she'll be for her stride pattern, okay? And all the rest normal. And you're going to force yourself to be allowing and easy squeezing on reins, not <laughs> okay. Yeah. So just, like, stay straight and then... yeah, just jump that straight and then look in and do your turn. And I think you'll end up on the six like you did the time before. Okay. Yeah, I think that will be better for her. Because it's that fine line that you're not getting her fast and flat, but not blocking her, if that makes sense. And take a minute to just do a circle and get her woken up again. And then find your canter and just open the canter a little bit for a stride or two, just so she gets herself in front of your leg again. There you go. Relax your lower back and your thigh and your elbows. Good. Well done.
Very good. Tall, awesome. Little softening through your fingers again, don't get tight. That's good, stay tall. Tall and give. Good, settle, easy. Now down your gears, whoa. There you go, settle. And whoa. Well done, that got better. Good, give her a pat. Okay, most of that was good, really good. She was, you know, really great down that line. You did a good job here, I thought, because she wanted to drift and you straightened her up. She jumped the oxer well. For me, you were a little bit game on into that combination. It was, I was kind of like, oh, we need to come down a little more. And that's, that's why we do this sort of thing, because then you're like in course mode and you're like, we're going. And it's actually, it's good for them to then now shorten up again, think about it. But what was good was she was actually thinking and you got her back for the last one and then she made a really nice shape over that. I thought that was good. Right, let's just do that, that line again. Yeah, and actually I'll tell you what, um, just to get him woken up, why don't you just roll in, jump that vertical by itself off the left rein and then just roll around and then start. Okay. See what I mean? Yeah, because I don't want him to be in total snooze town. <laughs> and even if it feels wrong, I want you just in front of every fence, be conscious that your leg is around him and you're really tall and then you're just going to allow with the hand without tipping your body. and allow. Good boy, pat him. What a good lad. That was exactly the right ride. This is plenty of canter. Allow and leg. Chin. Very good. Soften him a little bit again. Keep the leg around him, sink into your heel. Oh. Very good. Good, really pat him. Good. I'd say he's starting to learn a little bit here. Yeah, I totally agree. I, um, like, to, I think it was for that vertical. I was like, oh, we're a little off of it. And he, like, got a little quicker and jumped up. Yeah, there. and it was fine, actually, yeah. because then he had to think, and that's why I just said, whoa. But he still fought when he got to that ox, so you could see him measuring it and doing that. Yeah. No, I thought oh, that was really good. Good boy. He, he, like, he is careful. He's yeah. just, I think he just doesn't always know where the front end and the back end are. Yeah, and I think that because of that slow feeling, I've, like, Felt like you needed to go, go. I, I know exactly what you mean. Um, and look, you might reach that place, you know, once he goes up another level, you know, once he gets up to prelim, you might find that he's getting very high and suddenly you do need to put more leg on. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, um, a little bit more pace. Yeah, possibly. But I, honestly, like, if you watch the video, he's not, go he's not slow. Okay. He's just yeah. in his own easy rhythm. I think it's more about, like, the reaction I get when I put my leg on. I know. I like to go like that, take 20 minutes. Uh, I know what you mean, yeah. And it, part of that is because he, the way he's measuring the fence right now is to like do this and, and hunker in a little. And down, yeah. it makes you feel like they're maybe gonna stop. Right. And so they didn't even think you need more leg. But I don't actually think he is gonna stop. And I think, you know, I, I think he wants to be a good boy. Yeah, he does. But the ones like that tempt you into spurring them at the fence and then they actually go into it more. Yeah. Yeah. And you're better off, I think, to just let him to keep giving him the same ride, stay really tall, and your leg is always there. Okay. And then if you need to hug him a little more with it, at the base, fine, but I wouldn't start pushing him at the jumps. Because yeah. then I think I think he'll find his way. Like my Calmaria mare was like, she was really spooky. Yeah. And I just was like, I can't push this horse at the fence because then they nearly get worse. Yeah. yeah. And they start backing off almost. Exactly, yeah. exactly. Like so, yeah, I thought that was good. That was yeah. really good.